Boogie Cousins is currently a free agent. So he first got to spin the wheel of NBA team to see what team he actually lands on. And that is going to be the Chicago Bulls. Okay. We're going to sign him to a very friendly four-year deal. If I complete a challenge on the challenge wheel, that'll give me one free spin on the Miracle Wheel to help save his career. But for the first season, we're going to give him a freebie. And he's going to be getting the Fountain of Youth. We're going to make him three years younger, putting him at 29 years old. Boogie's the eighth man on the Bulls right now. Hopefully, he'll one day eclipse the sixth man of the year, Andre Drummond. Well, we got Luka doing Luka things. And the Bulls are fighting in the playing tournament. Boogie having himself a pretty good year, dropping 11 and 6. And the Bulls lost in their first playing game. Boogie having a great game, though. What the, what the hell? I simulated the second game on accident, but they made the playoffs. And they got to play Cleveland in the first round. This is where we should lose. Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess the first seed is going to lose to the eighth seed. And Boogie putting up 15, 6, and 4. He's playing some good basketball. Got to give him credit. Now we got Philly in the second round. This is where we should lose. Boogie won't be in the game, but we'll watch anyway. But we'll have to win the next two games. So we got to win this one somehow. Someone's got to make a three. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, that's awesome. DeRozan just trolling for no reason. And Boogie, I gotta say, he played pretty well in these playoffs. And the Sixers win the championship. Joel Embiid finals MVP. All right, well, now we're on season two. Time for our first challenge. And our first challenge is going to be NBA Jeopardy. All right, so we got a Jeopardy board here. And I have to answer one of the 500 questions. I'm gonna go MVP for 500. What's that gonna be? Who is the 2018 MVP? Well, Jokic won it this year. And then Jokic won it the year before. And then I think Giannis got a few off. But then I think Harden won it in 18 because Westbrook won it the year before and I thought Harden should have won in 2017 anyway so I'm gonna lock in Harden for 2018 and it was James Harden so now we get our first real spin of the miracle wheel and let's see what we're gonna go ahead and get in is increase all badges by one so now he's gonna have every single badge in the game only oh, tiered up by one but still getting every badge in the game helps out a lot already now at an 83 overall but he still doesn't have the starting job he's right there though if you're wondering why he was an 80 overall before that I raised his peak start and peak end age because in case the miracle wheel doesn't pan out he can still somewhat get better every single year all right now Jokic wants to average a triple double and Vucevic won sixth man of the year which means that Boogie got the starting job let's go and the Bulls are the seventh seed again I thought they'd be a little better compared to last year but Boogie dropping 19 and 10 he is hooping and they lost the first playing game and they lost the second so no playoffs for Boogie and the Bulls Boogie had an okay game DeRozan dropped 30 he did all he could but Vucevic shooting two for nine from three is insane and the Nuggets win the championship Jokic finals MVP dropping 27 13 and 11 and Boogie is now an 87 overall oh my god this man's gonna be a 99 overall in like the next year or two but let's see what challenge we get next and it's going to be smash bros good i got a lot to prove here i'm not really a fan of this map but i guess i gotta deal with it i just gotta stay with i just gotta stay in this oh yeah oh oh i thought i got him what the oh okay okay kind of piecing me up right now Oh, I got it! Let's go! Well, that's another spin on the Miracle Wheel for the Pro Smash player. And let's see what we're going to be giving Boogie Cousins. It's going to be unlock all shooting badges. And that is exactly how it sounds. Every single shooting badge in the game is going to Hall of Fame. So now Cousins is the best player on the team. I'm so happy we're saving your career, man. You've been through so much. Although I hated you when you joined the Warriors. That pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. All right, Darius Garland winning MVP. And the Bulls are the second seed with Boogie leading the way. He dropped 23, 10, and 5. He popped all this shit. Not the leading scorer, but still, he's doing his thing. And we got Boston in the first round. Tough team. And of course, we lose in five to the seventh seed. What did Boogie average in the playoffs? He averaged 21 and 12. I mean, he did, he did his part. It just wasn't enough, and the Cavs win the championship. Darius Garland finals MVP. This could be Boogie's last year on the Bulls, so we gotta go out with a bang. Give me an easy chat. No, not fall, guys. Uh, okay. Starting off pretty good here. Look like I'm just fringe top 10 right now. Maybe top 15. You pretty much just have to not mess up one time. Oh, well, I just, I, I have to stop talking. We're coming up to the end here, and I think I'll place top 10 as long as I don't mess up here, and I'm looking... Ooh, that was a big boost. Please let me through. No! Let me through! Let me through! Let me through! Ooh, top three! We haven't lost the challenge yet. I'm doing pretty well. But let's see what we're going to be blessing Boogie with next here on the Miracle Wheel. It's going to be increase all badges by two. We already made every single badge up to bronze, so now every single badge at minimum is going to be a gold badge, and now he's a 94 overall. But we got to start winning some games, man. We got to win a championship. All right, Isaiah Collier, MVP. And Boogie still hasn't made an all-NBA team, man. But the Bulls are the four seed, respectable. And Boogie's points per game went down since last year. That's kind of weird. But I guess Levine's dropping 27 a game, so I guess I understand. And we're going to get past the first round in seven versus the Hornets. And we got to play the Magic Web. There's Jante Murray, Webb, and Yama, and Bancaro. That's crazy. And the Bulls are going to get by in another seven-game series. Boogie dropping 14, 15, and seven. Now, this is probably where we lose playing the Cavs. Just got to hold on to this lead, and we're going to the final. Garland gets the screen here. Gonna try to drive in. Step back, Mini. That was tough. Get Boogie the ball. He's gonna get double team. Kick it to Levine for three. 
got it. What a stupid double team. And Boogie having a pretty quiet game here, 14 and 14, but we are going to the NBA Finals. And we got to play the Thunder, who have Shea and Giddy and Chet Holgram. They got to hold on here to force a game seven. Boogie's going to screen off on Giddy right there. DeRozan trying to drive, pull up midi. Missed it. What kind of shot was that? Shea trying to work on. Oh my God, my man didn't move. He froze. How will DeRozan respond? Bro. Can you stop trolling? And the Bulls subbed out DeMarcus Cousins out of the game. They put in Capella. Dude, Capella, if you shoot this three, I will lose my mind, bro. There's three. Is no one going to do anything? What is this offense? What? Man, I hope Boogie leaves this whack-ass team. There's no way they not only subbed him out, but the game plan was Capella to take a three. I just don't get it. And thankfully, he decided to leave the Bulls. And he's now a member of the Miami Heat with Kevin Durant. Well, let's see what challenge we got to do next and that is going to be monopoly if i get around the board before the computer i will win this challenge and i'm starting off with a seven okay i'll get a chance card please be a good card what do we got advanced to the nearest railroad okay we're moving up pretty well what do we got it's a nine okay we're moving pretty good i swear to god if i roll a six and go to jail here what do we got it is a five <laughs> All right, that was a little too close. Just give me an 11. We can end this entire thing. We got a four in it. Okay, we got a 10. And wow, this is a real game. I'd be pretty comp right now with a boardwalk. And he's going to get a seven, which means this challenge is over. Give me my six, and I'm going to collect my $200, win the cha challenge, whatever. We're out of here. Well, what do we got next here on the Miracle Wheel? It is going to be plus 30 to all rebounding attributes. That's nice. He already has 99 defensive rebounding, so we're just raising up this to a 99, so it didn't really do too much there. I low-key feel like I just lost right there. We'll see how well this Heat team does. All right, well, Luka back to win an MVP. And Boogie finally makes an NBA team. It's about damn time. But the Heat are going to be fighting in the playing tournament. Boogie dropping a cool 21, 13, and 6. KD leading the way, dropping 25 as expected. And they're going to beat the Hawks in the playing game, so they're going to the playoffs. Now we got to play our former team in the first round. And we're going to beat them here in six games. That game got randomly close there at the end. But anyway, Boogie putting up 25, 16, and 8. Now we got to play the Raptors, who got Kawhi back, and they have Scotty Barnes still. We got a close one here. Boogie going to get the ball in the post, going to try to go up here with the layup gets it to go tie game they're gonna give it to boogie again boogie gets fouled and one getting revenge on capella for taking his spot in the last moments of that finals game boogie's gonna run point <laughs> what's going on what is what what am i watching what am i watching four seconds i've got to play some honest defense here morris trying to go up oh he dimes it to capella it is a three-point game we gotta get a three here car oh my god Oh, man. If Morris makes one of these free throws, we're going to get out of here and it's over. Well, Boogie, you put up a fight, but you just could not. It just wasn't enough, man. Man, KD popped off in this game, too. And the Thunder win the championship. Ron Holland finals MVP. Well, I haven't lost the challenge yet, which means I am more than due to lose one right now. Oh, not this again. We did this in the last Save a Player video, which is why I said again. But I'm sticking with Chiefs Chargers, man. It has to work. Just one of them has to make the Super Bowl. And I actually got it right. Wow, an actual normal Super Bowl. Kansas City versus the Niners. And wow, the Chargers didn't even make the playoffs. Okay. But we still got one of the two teams right. Meaning we're getting a spin on the Miracle Wheel. And we're going to be getting plus five height. Okay. So now Boogie will be a 7-3 center. So like, can Boogie just pull from here and it's money because he has every shooting badge? <laughs> of course he can. Boogie at this point is literally a my team card. Isaiah Cole, your MVP again. And we got Boogie making second team again. And the Heat are still fighting in that playing tournament. Boogie finally leading the team in scoring, dropping 22-14-7. and seven. But they're going to lose the first playing game. And they got dropped off by ben simmons okay and they're just gonna get by the sixers to make the playoffs now we got the magic in the first round they got Bronny, dejounte ben caro and they still got victor and they might be out of here in six games Ben caro with the ball doing some moves with the post hook missed it victor with the offensive rebound puts it back would have been very nice to have 7-3 boogie on the team right now but he's fouled out okay that's an amazing shot man that's awesome well kd you're gonna have to hit one clutch shot in your life it might as well be this one kd gonna take an awful three-pointer like what what the hell even is that and that's probably gonna be game well there you go durant one last shot for you and it's off and victor dropped 40 on us that's just great and the magic won the championship victor finals mvp that team is stacked and durant decided to retire what are we gonna do now hopefully i could just keep winning challenges to make boogie eventually a 99 overall and we're gonna get portal okay well let's start off with our guy duncan robinson and we'll continue after that so this is like a guard in his prime or a forward guard in his prime i have a weird guess is this jalen brown I'm just gonna go off a hunch here okay it is not jalen brown but i was close i don't think I think it's this person, but is it Zach?
Zach Levine? Oh, it is Zach Levine. Oh, I, I didn't think he was that old. I thought he was still like 24, 25. He's 27. Wow, he has been in the league for a while, but still, damn. Okay, well, we got it. Well, let's see what we got on the Miracle World next. It is going to be, what do we got? Unlock all playmaking badges. He already has most of them on gold, but still, putting him a Hall of Fame is definitely a difference maker. And now Luka's in Atlanta still winning MVPs. And the Heat are the ninth seed fighting for their lives. Let's we'll see the stats here. Boogie only averaging, he's only getting 30 minutes a game. I'm not really sure how to give him more minutes. And they're not even going to make it out of the play-in tournament. He had a pretty good game, but again, yeah, I don't know why this guy gets more minutes than Boogie. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, the Pelicans win the championship. Isaiah Cole, your finals MVP. And Boogie decided to sign another four-year extension with the Heat, so he's not going anywhere. So I'm going to have to make this man a demigod if we want a chance to win a championship. And we're going to land on multiverses. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Not off to a great start. We get it. We get it. We get We get it. We get it. You know how to press a button. What happened to skill-based matchmaking? Is that just over with? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, bro. All right, bro. Yo, yo. Good win, man. Yo, yo. Good win. Good win. You're so good at the game, bro. Good win. All right, and Scoo Henderson's going to win MVP. And I feel like Boogie would make more NBA teams if he could actually get more minutes per game. But I just have no idea why he can't get more minutes. Like, look at this. He played 28 minutes a game. There's some guys who are playing 37 and 35, and they're 76 overalls. Like, I, I, I've tried everything. But they're not even going to be in the playoffs anyway. Scoo dropped a triple double. Wait, he won the MVP, and he was in the play, and that's pretty sad. And the Suns win the championship. Bronny finals MVP. I feel like even if we make him a demigod, his minutes are just just not gonna go up. So I'm not really too sure what to do here. And we got predicting the 2023 NBA season. Well, based off my calculations, I'm gonna pick the Sixers or Grizzlies to make the finals. All right, well, Philly made it to the conference finals. Memphis is out, so we gotta hope they make it here. We're gonna go ahead and simulate the round here. And of course, the Sixers don't make it. Nice, man. The Cavs win the championship, so we're not getting a wheel spin. So we'll just sim the season with Boogie getting his 30. Like, like, do the Heat just hate Boogie? Like, what other reason would it be? We got Ron Holland winning MVP. And the Heat are somehow the second seed. Okay. Boogie drop out a cool 22. 10 and 7 doing his thing, but still only playing 28 minutes a game. And we got Philly in the first round who have a stacked ass team. Oh my god. And we're somehow gonna gentlemen sweep them. That's crazy. Now we got the Pistons who have Bancaro. They got a couple other good players that got Scoot. And they're just gonna barely get by the Pistons here in seven games. And now they have the Bucks in the conference finals going up against Tatum and Zion and Cade. What the hell is this team? And somehow Boogie and the Heat are going to the finals. And Brandon Miller's gonna drop 40 points in this game seven. What about Boogie, he dropped 14, 11, and 6. Had himself a pretty good game, but still, this team is clearly not his. But now we gotta play Ja in the finals, man. Watch me lose. This is probably the worst team we've played against, but somehow we're gonna lose to this team. The Heat were up 3-1 in this series, and now we got a close one. Oh my god, Keontae George for 3. Got it! Two-point game! They're gonna post up Boogie right here in the paint. Better get your move off quick. Boogie pump faking. Go back up! Gets blocked! Here's B. Miller, MVP of Game 7 of the last series. Dimes it up to Starks! Gets the foul! Ja Moran trying to drive to the basket here. Got nothing to go got nowhere to go job putting up a tough layup misses it gets his own rebound puts it back up and in so i just subbed in boogie back in the game and i finally figured out why he doesn't play that many minutes this man can't even breathe on the court he has a 72 stamina how did i not see this john moran trying to has he trying to drop to the basket throws it down on boogie we got a one point game gotta keep it at a three point game by making this free throw when he does we got 10 seconds left keontae george pump they can go to pull from three. Oh my god he actually actually made that six seconds left what are the heat gonna do this is to win the championship try to drive gets it the boogie boogie gotta throw up a shot misses it and we're going to overtime we're back in pretty much the same situation Ja going to work right now oh and he turns the ball over and that's probably gonna do it here in miami oh my god keontae george for three Dude, this guy's a demon. He makes every shot. They can still tie this game up. That is insane. And he misses the first free throw. No, you cannot miss this second free throw. Oh, no. He literally missed it. One point game. Seven seconds left. This is for the championship. Gets it down the post to Mara. Mara going to work right now. Hezing going up with the hook. Makes it. The Grizzlies are the champions. How the hell did they blow a five point lead with 20 seconds left? What a terrible terrible way for boogie to go out man that is so bad we're gonna raise his stamina so we won't spend the miracle we're just gonna give him stamina so now that boogie has 99 stamina he's finally gonna get the minutes he deserves let's see if it results in a championship all right ron holland mvp and boogie is finally back to making nba teams but the heat suck they didn't make the playoffs i like how we give boogie more minutes and more stamina and somehow the team is worse that just makes so much sense but a tired boogie yeah nba finals trip and the kings win the championship gg Jackson finals MVP. Boogie's got one year left on his contract, so this is 
is probably his final year. Let's see if we can ride out into the sunset and potentially make him a demigod. And we're gonna get the dribble for the day in two turns. So we need a teammate of Kobe that also played with AD. I feel like this shouldn't be too. Oh wait, Dwight Howard. That's literally that's literally a lot. That that just that was way too easy. All right, well here is our final spin of the Miracle Wheel, and let's see what we're gonna go ahead and get. It is going to be tendencies all 100. This is going to come into handy very much for this final year. He's gonna be doing everything. All right, we got Lamelo winning an MVP, and Boogie finally making All NBA first team. He has yet to do this, and the Heat are fighting in the playing tournament. And Boogie dropped the triple double drop in 26, 13 to 10. Those tendencies help out a lot, and they're gonna lose the first play-in game. And I accidentally sim passed it, but they lost the second one as well. And the Pacers win the championship. Lamelo finals MVP. I should have just ended this video when they lost in seven in the finals, bro. That was a great way to end the video. We definitely saved your career, but you just couldn't get that championship. Have fun in retirement. Goodbye.